Okay, in this video, we're going to show you Windows Media Center on Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now, if you've been following my past three videos on Windows 8 Consumer Preview, you'll know that I was not able to get sound to work on my machine. Unfortunately, the VIA sound chipset I have on my motherboard doesn't have any drivers that I've come across that I can get to work with Windows 8. I'm still going to be working on that issue, but I already spent several hours on it and I wanted to get these videos out, so I just had to put it on the back burner. So as you can see, this is Windows 8 Consumer Preview, and I have my Windows Media Center remote here, and I have the receiver hooked into my desktop. So I'm going to press the Windows button here, and let's see what happens. It's working. Now I haven't set up Media Center on this device at all, so as you see it, I will see it for the first time too. So it looks very typical of Windows Media Center on Windows 7. It says, Welcome to Windows Media Center, the best way to experience TV on your PC. I'm going to click OK on my remote here. And as I said, unfortunately I don't have sound, so Windows Media Center isn't going to be much use to me, but I do want to see how it works if there's any differences on Windows 8 versus Windows 7. So it says set up Windows Media Center with recommended options. I'm going to click yes. And here we go. Looks identical to Windows 7. Looks like you have the same, all the same options here. Probably unchanged. I'm in the extras area here, and that's something that's a little different. Normally there are extras in there, whether they're games or the test to see if your computer can run Media Center when it's hooked up to a cable card device. But you have your pictures and video here. Let's click on that. Obviously I don't have any pictures. There are some default pictures on here. Let's see what they look like here. All right, just some NVIDIA pictures. Let's get out of here. Uh, music, let's get into there. Now I don't have any media on this computer as of yet, but uh, I'm just looking at how this is different than regular Media Center, which seems like it's not different at all. Let's get out of this and back out of that. We have Now Playing. That's the slideshow that I had, the NVIDIA Pictures slideshow. And Movies. You do have the Netflix option here, which is nice. And let's click on that. And if you're familiar with Media Center, you can have a Netflix plug-in. And it's actually a nice interface for Netflix on here. Now this is just touching on Windows Media Center on Windows 8, just to see how it works. But in the future, I'm going to do a whole set of videos on Windows Media Center and HTPCs, or home theater PCs. Let's back out of this. And I don't have any movies, so I don't have a movie library, but you can play a DVD from here. And then if you have, like I said, if you have a cable card device hooked up to Windows Media Center, you can actually watch live TV on your device and actually record live TV. So you can make your Windows PC into a DVR, which is really nice. You have your guide here. You click on that. I don't know if it's going to bring anything up, but uh, that's the guide. Let's back out of this. And we have sports here. You have scores, players, and leagues. Then you have your tasks here. So pretty much looks a lot like, if not just identical, to Windows Media Center on Windows 7. Unfortunately, like I said, the sound's not working on my device, so I'm not going to be able to use it. But let's see if the shutdown sequence works on this. I'm going to hit this and shut down the computer. And it shuts it down. So that was just a quick look at Windows Media Center on Windows 8 Consumer Preview. 
If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or favorite the video. That helps out the channel. And that pretty much does it for now, so I'll see you guys next time.